Hi friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel ITBot143. In this tutorial, I will show how to install and configure Windows Server Update Services role in Windows Server 2016. Come to Server and open Server Manager. Here, please select Add Roles and Features. Select Role based on Feature Based Installation. Next, select Server from the Server Pool. Next. Here, please select Windows Server Update Services. Next. 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 Here, we have to select WID Connectivity and WSUS Services. And click on Next. And here, in your server, if any drive is formatted with NTFS and have at least 6 GB of free disk space, we can use it to store updates so that client computers can download quickly. But this is my test machine. Uncheck this, click on next, next, and in web server role services, simply click on next and please select this option restart the destination server automatically if required. Yes, and click on install. After installation succeeded on server, we have to configure this. Close this. Come to Tools and please select Windows Server Update Services. And here, please select Store Updates Locally and we have to create a folder to store the updates. Click on Browse and please select C drive and here I want to create one folder. Okay and after that click on run. Now we got the post installation task and this process takes few minutes. After post installation successfully completed, close this. Now we will get WSUS configuration wizard. Before we begin, please check that server firewall configured to allow clients to access the server and check can this computer connect to the upstream server and also check user credentials for the proxy server and after that click on next here if you don't want to join the Microsoft update implement program please deselect this click on next and here I want to synchronize from Microsoft update click on next and here if you have username and password of your proxy server you can select this otherwise click on next and click on start connecting Start Connecting helps us to save and download upstream server and proxy server information. This process might take several minutes, so I will skip this. After successfully connecting with upstream server, we will get a green line and click on Next. Here we have to select Language to download updates. Next. And please specify the products for which you want to download updates. Here I want to download updates for Windows 7. and Windows Server 2016. After that, click on Next. And here, please specify what classification of 
updates you want to synchronize. I want to select feature packs, service packs, updates and update rollups and click on next. We have to synchronize updates manually or set a schedule for daily automatic synchronization. Normally for production environment, it is better to select synchronize automatically and click on next and please select begin initial synchronization. Click on next and after that click on finish. Now we will get Windows Server update services and please select server. Here we will get complete overview including computer status, update status, synchronization status and download status and you will get port number. Please remember this port number which will helpful in future configuration. First we have to finish synchronization. This process takes three minutes and here we have few more options. Come to options. Here we can modify the previous configuration settings and come to updates and here you will get different updates like critical updates, security updates and Windows Server update services updates and come to computers. Here we will get status of computers by computer group. If you want to add a specific computer group for your clients come to all computers and please right click on this select add computer group and here specify a name for new computer group and click on add. Now let it finish the synchronizing. After completing the synchronization let's approve few updates. Click on approved. Here it is showing 864 updates of 866 and please select the updates and after that click on approve. Here we can restrict the updates to specific computer groups and click here approve for install and for unassigned computers approve for install after that click on OK. Approval completed without errors. Now close this. Again come to server and come to critical updates. Approve and select the updates and click on approve. Please select approve for install. Okay. Close this. Now come to security updates and here please select approved. Refresh. Similarly come to critical updates. Please select approved. Refresh. After this I want to create a group policy. For that come to server manager and please open group policy management. Here I want to create a group policy at the domain level so that this can be applied to all the computers and users. Right click and please select create a GPO in this domain. And select group policy right click. Please select edit. Come to computer configuration expand policies expand administrative templates and please expand windows components scroll down here please select windows update here i want to configure few settings first double click on configure automatic updates and please enable this here i have chosen auto download and notify for install and schedule day and time and after that apply. Okay, please 
double click on specify internet microsoft update service location enable this here set the internet update service for detecting updates please type in this format add your domain and please select colon after that we have to enter port number click on apply ok double click on allo automatic updates MDAT installation please enable this apply ok and after that please open turn on recommended updates via automatic updates please enable this and after that please select no auto restart with lockdown users for schedule automatic update installation please enable this After this, close the Group Policy Editor and refresh it. After this, please come to Client System and run GP Update Force. After this, come to Control Panel and please select Large Icons and come to Windows Update. Here come to Change Settings and some settings are managed by your system administrator and important updates, download updates but let me choose whether to install them and here it is showing the day and, and time. After the click on OK. After this come to Server and open Windows Server Update Services come to all computers and please select any and refresh here you will get our client system like this we can install and configure windows server update services role in windows server 2016 i hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like button and please share this video with your friends and please visit my channel itbot143 to watch more latest updated videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you friends, have a nice day.